Paul Enixon, also known as Pablo, and over the last 12 years I've built over 600 craps practice tables, portable practice tables, and portable throwing stations. They're now available at wholesale prices. Uh, my website is pabloscrapsunits.com, and it's listed at the bottom of this video. Uh, stop by and uh, check them out, and uh, enjoy the following video. Talk about some demeanor, table demeanor by you and other folks at the table, okay? You've, uh, you've, if you haven't played the game long, uh, or if you have played, you're going to find yourself in a situation where at certain times there's going to be arguments that break out between the player and, and the dealer, and then the box gets involved and so forth. Um, all, all I can do is, I can tell you this, if you're, if you're the shooter and say you're not hitting the back wall with both dice like you're supposed to and then you start getting some heat from the box man or the stick man says hey shooter you got to hit the back wall all you do is smile and nod accept the fact don't sit there and argue with them and say well i did hit the back wall blah 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 and you start an argument because i guarantee you no matter what the case is you're going to lose every argument okay so, what you need to do is just be polite, treat the dealers, treat the box, treat everybody like you want to be treated. So, you go in there with the proper attitude, boom, you're happy, everybody's happy, because, <clears throat> you know, dealers are human, just like we are, and dealing with the public all day, you've got, uh, depends on what part of the shift you come in on, if they've been there too long, I mean, you know, you're dealing with uh, people that are half drunk and smoking, and imagine being a dealer for eight hours, and you're dealing with half drunks and people blowing smoke in your face. Well, that'll probably get you in a pretty bad, you know, bad mood. So what you don't want to do, you don't want to get them cranky, and, and you want to play the game, you want to play it correctly. So follow the rules and don't get into arguments with them. And, and here's another situation. Say you're not the shooter. There's a guy down here, and an argument breaks out because uh, he thought he should have got paid more money. So basically that stops the game, stops the flow, stops the energy, stops the rhythm, now they're arguing down here, what's up? So now the dealers are getting, you know, kind of foul. The box man's a little PO'd. So now you're sitting there wondering, you know, what should I do? Because the thing is starting to be a little disarray here. So what you should do, what I do, the heck with it. I just uh, swallow my lumps. I say color coming in. I'm out of this game. There's another game in town. So let's go find a game where everybody's happy. Uh, before I enter a game, I look at the dealers to make sure they're in a good mood and happy and so forth because that, that's a huge advantage to the game because I don't want to play when, uh, with a lot of dissension. So let's everybody be happy. Let's play the game correctly and no arguments. And One question, Coach. Yes, sir. Isn't this why it's, it's good to uh, toke the dealers in case you're the one that gets Absolutely. in an argument? Absolutely. That's another thing. So you got money down here for the dealers next to yours. That gets them to be in a good mood. They'll, they'll start smiling as soon as you do that. And that gets the game going in the right direction. So uh, You can even encourage other people. To absolutely. Play. And I do that too. I'll say, hey, how come I'm the only one talking the dealers in this game? And a lot of times I'll look down there and all of a sudden here comes the dollars in the pass line. So that gets you a lot of mileage out of your money. So, okay, great. Thank you for your time and uh, we'll see you on the next.